Good afternoon. So last 10 minutes after this, you can enjoy the good breakfast. Uh, breakfast. No, dinner. Sorry about this. Uh, thank you for this chance. I listen a lot from all of the uh, good presentations, and uh, it gives me a, a lot of uh, thinkings. And I, I made uh, some PowerPoint to summarize my thinking. And then, uh, uh, this is my house. I, I moved in this house seven years ago. There are only two rooms inside. The originally, this house aged about 180 years old. There are only two rooms, and that, uh, uh, where is the, oh yeah, here, in this area, we still have the, the uh, ancient style. That means we have to put the fire under the floor. And this side is uh, on another room, this is chicken, or kitchen, sorry, kitchen. <laughs> I do not eat chicken in kitchen. So this is my house. The reason why I'm showing you this picture is, after I moved in this house nine years ago, I invested seven years with my family to modify and fix this house. So this house is a kind of my masterpiece of my family. And after, while doing all of this hard work with my one wife and two sons, uh, we, I got a lot of experience about the job training <laughs> because I have to do almost everything with my two sons. And I learned a lot. And uh, as a conclusion, uh, the lessons from my sons, I can see that. My sons, they never have any this kind of experience, but they are having more confidence for their life. Because the, right now, everything is changing instantly. So the young people, they really afraid of our future. They don't know what would be the future. Even we do not know about future. Even many, many the great scholars, even who got the uh, uh, the, the, the world prize from economic area, uh, but nobody can say about the future. After the global economic crisis, about 10 years ago, everything was kind of uh, destructive. So how can we encourage our young people? The conclusion is we have to listen very carefully. We have to flexible as much as we can. This morning, the ministers, Chang from the uh, Taiwan that says that the three key point, one is the flexibility of a curriculum. We have to be flexible. We have to get rid of, the, we have to give up all the existing systems. Otherwise, we cannot make any change because there are so many things. So the conclusion, needed to make a new paradigm of a concept of a job, looking for job, uh, money, and the certificate to the meanings and the social recognition. We need to support young people with the social recognition. Second, process of making job investment. No, we need more cooperation. Third, principles of future job making, maximum of a profit for owner. No, 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 not anymore. But the optimal contribution for community. How can we make a community contribution? Last, new concept of education and training. Institutional service oriented to local and global community network oriented. We have to work together, otherwise, we have to give up our, our power to make a big benefit or profit. Otherwise, nobody can survive. That's the, that's the critical question. We have to work together continuously for use and future. And I just add a little more about the APEC. This is the APEC, the big organization, and the, there is a uh, uh, here, we are here. And under APEC, we have a CBN, Ethernet, and LSPN. This Ethernet is, belongs to the Ministry of Education. CBN and LSPN is belongs to the Ministry of Labor, but we have to work together. This is the HRD working group, but HRD is a cross-cutting working group because it covers almost everybody, from kindergarten to the silver town. So that we have to make a very good linkage with the other working group, like Agricultural Technical Corporation, somewhere medium, tourism, transportation, blah, 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 and even energy working group. And what is the comprehensive partnership with APEC? Government, business, academia. We have to work together. That is the order from APEC again. And uh, I just uh, skip this very quickly. The simple life. That is, he lives from 1883 to 1983. Yes, he lived 100 years. But he never visited the hospital. He never. Because 
he is a vegetarian, but he spent invest every four hours for working, labor, and every four hours for studying. Change the lifestyle. Without them, then the, nobody can really help us. And this is the king of Thailand. Maybe the, our Thai friend, Thai uh, friend, easily acknowledge them. Simple living and the self-sufficient economy. That's the key idea. We have a very limited natural resources. Mass production, mass consumption cannot continue like this way. We have to teach our children how to simplify their lives for the future. And the, the Ivan Ili, he, he used to be a Catholic father. He worked very long time. He was born in Australia, and he worked about 25 years in the South America. And uh, he made a very interesting theory, discipline society. We have to deserve the school system. We have to deserve the training system. No more certification system, because we need to accept a big change. Please read this, this book. It's a very, very influential book. Karl Polanyi, he is a very famous economist. He talked about the uh, democracy of economics. Samsung should not control the whole world anymore. The Google know that we have to make uh, some kind of uh, democratic activity so that uh, big companies can pay more attention about uh, sharing their benefits with many, many people. And uh, Mar Marcel Mousse, he's a very famous scholar. He talked about sharing. How to, why human beings need to share the profit? And what happens if, if we cannot, if we do not share our profit, what kind of things happen? It's disaster. We have to teach our kid. And uh, cosmopolitanism, but Uli Beck, he said, world risk society. The risk is not only the partial, we have a global risk. We, we are having more and bigger risk system. And the key idea for overcoming this risk system is we need to accept that we are totally different person. We have to recognize, we have to respect other people's other culture, other uh, history, and other uh, nature and objects and uh, rationalities. And uh, this is the amazing, amazing video from TED.com. You can visit here and uh, Mr. Sugata Mitra he said, kids can teach themselves. Wow, I can lose my job. I cannot work for a professor anymore. Because uh, he installed very interesting, the regular computer with a touch screen. It really happened in India. Extremely poor area. They never see any computer in their lifetime. They never listen to any the English uh, speaking person. But uh, after put this kind of touch, touch screen with a mouse, and then these guys, they start to learn by themselves. No theories, no complicated theories for education and training. With this kind of proper technology, we can make a revolution. I'm really afraid about that. I, start, I got my master and PhD in, in Indiana and Ohio State, and uh, this, he, he just uh, destroyed all of my reputation. But this is true. The young people, they can learn because when they, whenever they have a group, proper motivation, it's possible. We have to accept this. Here is a very famous uh, scholar uh, from the, his Ken Robbins. You can meet him with the TED.com and changing education paradigm. He says, conclusion is guarantee of a job, good job is not guarantee anymore. So the long line of the conveyor belt of education system cannot guarantee the job in the future. And what is the answer? Creativity with the community movement. And here, so we generation, that means uh, work optimally to have my time for a good life. They don't want to work continuously. They are not working machine. So young generation, they are totally different species. We have to accept it. We should not, we should not drive them in the same manner we have uh, had. So that uh, finally, my, this is my mother. I made this mother, and after working with APEC, 14 continuous years. And I have met so many people, from the president to the teachers. I visited so many extremely poor area, and I made this mother. We have to think about attitude and mentality, knowledge, environment, not only knowledge or environment. This is the most important one. And we have to work with academia, business, and government. And education, HRD, IT, is the key, key 
future for the for the future. And issue is how to invite the stakeholders. How can we work together? Government, business, academia, community. Now our future is here. So the APEC leaders says that we have to work together. We have to work together so that we can share the prosperity for use. That means for the future. So that uh, this is a kind of exemplary activity and uh, this is the, our dream. If we can make this kind of APEC work village network, then the kids, children, young people, they will have a hope. Hope, hope, H-O-P-E, hope. That is the key word for making change. Hope is the key word for achieving the very bright future. I really appreciate your sincere uh, presentation and discussion here. I will see we can, we can continue this kind of activity and, uh, and so on. Uh, lastly, I'd like to say thank you so much for the, the persons who preparing all of this activity. Especially, I'd like to give a big applaud to the young volunteers over there. Please, please give them a big applause. Thank you so much, Shishani. Thank you, Dr. Kim.